A St. Peter's Child Care Center is at the center of a lawsuit tonight following a five-month-old infant's head injury his mother says she was never told about. The mom says she later learned her baby had a skull fracture. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes has the state report of what child protection workers found. The Missouri Office of Childhood cited Kids Kingdom here on Four Winds Drive in St. Peter's with failing to supervise a five month old who fell out of his bouncer and hit his head and failing to tell the mother anything even happened was entirely preventable. Attorney Chris Finney just filed a lawsuit over the incident that happened last October. You'd never want to hear that your young child has a skull fracture and a subarachnoid hemorrhage. State investigators report confirming a complaint that, quote, staff did not call the parent when he fell out of a bouncer and hit his head. Finney says mom happened to notice a bump later. Bathing the child, getting ready for bed, and notices that, you know, this is not right. Uh, there's some swelling developing where the fracture site was. The state reports as investigators later learned daycare employees heard child A's bouncer seat flip over backwards and heard crying. A couple crawlers crawled up, started pulling older kids, pulling on the on the seat. It creates kind of a bouncy effect. They then let go. Child flips out. Finney says his investigator later found the bouncer in the facility's dumpster. The large majority of daycares and child care facilities do a phenomenal job. Finney recommends checking online for your daycare's inspection records as well as doing your own spot checks to see if they're using items like child bouncers the right way. It has got a strap to secure the child on both sides into the seat so you cannot flip out of it. It's relatively stable when it's used as intended. Kids Kingdom had no response to our phone call or personal visit asking for a comment. We put together a map of child care facilities facing substantiated complaints this year, which you can find when you look for this report after opening the Fox 2 app. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.